Hi, one of the latest trends and technologies in machine vision today is AI and deep learning. But you're probably wondering, what's the fuss about this artificial intelligence or machine learning or deep learning? All these terminologies that are being thrown out there. Hi, my name is Raghava Kashyapa, CEO of Qualitas Technologies. And in this video, I'm going to break down the difference between AI and traditional rule-based computational uh, software when it comes to machine vision. Well, simply put, the difference between the two, that's the rule-based system and the machine learning-based system, is really a fundamental difference in the approach to teaching the system to identify whatever you want it to identify. In other words, when you want a camera system to actually do some inspection job for you, you want to automate something that's being done um, either manually or through some other means. You have to train the system. This training approach is what differentiates the rule-based system versus the machine learning-based system. Let's take a look at how. In the rule-based system, the rules that govern the inspection is actually defined by the programmer. And what does that mean? So basically, you want to, let's say, identify which of the variance these wheels belong to. So you have a set of eight wheels or nine wheels and you want to identify whenever something comes in front of the camera which of these eight variants it belongs to. So let's say you have the images of these two wheels and you want a rule that identifies which is which. Well the obvious parameter is going to be the color of the rim. So one is black the other one has a metallic surface. But let's take a look at another example. So here's an example where all the rims are black. So what do you do in this case? So now the rules get a little bit more complex. So it's color plus maybe the number of holes that are present on the rim. But let's say you have this particular example. So it doesn't have any holes. So it can't be governed by the color. It can't be governed by the number of holes. Maybe you gotta look at the pattern of the rim or the number of spokes that are present on it. So you get the drift. The rules start to become complex. And not only do you have to build these rules, you also have to build them reliably so that even small variations in an assembly line needs to make sure that the rules catch the right variant so you're able to identify the variant correctly. The AI-based system, on the other hand, or machine learning, the approach is completely reversed. You don't define the rules and teach the, uh, the system how to identify these objects, but instead you give it examples. So you give it sufficient examples of one variant and then another, and then like that, all the eight variants with sufficient examples and the system will identify the rules. So what it does is going through a complex machine learning algorithm to identify patterns, to identify which characteristics actually uh, associate it with which variant. So in other words, let's assume that you give it a hundred of examples of this variant, another example, a hundred examples of another variant, and you feed it through a complex training cycle and it builds this intelligent model which then would be able to predict this in the future. And that's pretty much how the human brains work. It's a simulation of these neurons that recognize or memorize different patterns that a human would actually see in the course of learning. So there you have it. Two different approaches to uh, machine vision software computation. One, where the rules are defined by the programmer, and the other, where the rules are defined by the system, where the machine learns. And that's what makes this a game-changing technology, because the complexity of teaching is completely lowered, and the barrier to actually teach these systems is much, much lower than what it used to be before, making things which were very, very complex before a simple uh, teaching process through example. Hope you took some value out of this video. And I do urge you to take a look at AI and machine learning as a possible solution for your next machine vision project. Thank you.